the last time I forgot to tell you something. Yeah. So that episode about string, mm -hmm. there's a text, paragraph, and string and comments. How a, a computer knows that it is a command? Mm -hmm. Cause, because this is all English, right? Yeah. So how do you tell what is a command to the computer? Ask it to do something. What is well, some text for us to read? Well, it's with the quotes. Yeah, so anything in the quotes, those are strings. So mm -hmm. strings are not something computer will take as a command. Mm -hmm. So anything that without a string, so outside with a, as a plain English, that's mm -hmm. something we call either a command or some code. That's mm -hmm. actually the code that the computer will read and react and do something. But something with the code and other things like in the comments, they are not something computer will run. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's something you know, but not everyone knows. Okay. So we just need to say about that. And then we'll begin our today's episode. So today we're going to talk about another if else. So, uh, hey guys, and welcome to another video. And today we're going to be doing another if and else. In if else, there's a lot of things to talk about. So this we, this today we'll look at an uh, Example of the if else mm -hmm. so it looks like uh, what a loop will do, mm -hmm. and then we'll talk about how to how a pro will do it as also, another replacement of the also, if uh, else. If you're like just watching this, maybe you should watch the intro first so you can understand. Yeah, if you're first time here, make sure you watch the previous episodes. Yeah, okay. this is the, the sixth episode. Okay, so you can give a read of this code. Mm -hmm. If what does Neil like the most equal fried rice? Yum. <laughs> Yummy is a statement. Yummy is a string, right? Like yeah. just like we said, yeah. those are strings. Those are not commands. What does to Neil them. like most? So what is what the, does Neil like like the most? What is uh, this? mango, not really. So what is this part? What is this? We we call this uh, what? Oh, uh, we call this a command, like no. what, a variable. Yeah, variable. Yes, yeah, good. So we we if the variable is being set as something else, mm -hmm. and we in this if else uh, uh, statement we check the the variable value against mm -hmm. those uh, strings. Mm -hmm. So if the variable, what does Neo like the most equals the fr fried rice, what we will return is yummy. Mm -hmm. So there's an else if, so if it, this variable is not fried rice, it's mango, then we return sweet. If it's video game, we return, if it's Olivia, we return this. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's something else, then we, we don't know, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is the problem of this piece of code? Well, the the variables keep changing. Variables keep changing, that's mm -hmm. that's normal. That's that's not a problem. Uh, that's the name variable, right? It just keeps changes. So so in this code we repeat this same variable a lot of times. Oh right. So in yeah. a in an elegant kind of way in the code, you don't want to repeat yourself. Basically, mm -hmm. you're trying to be lazy. You don't repeat yourself as as much as possible, right? Mm -hmm. you, you just try to be write as less code and do the most things as possible. Yeah. So in this this piece of code, it's repeating the song has the same variables again and again. There, there's another way to make it look better. So this is what we introduced today, which is called a match case or switch case. So switch case is in other language in Python. They just introduced this feature in uh, 3.10. Mm -hmm. uh, in other language, we call this switch case. Uh, in Python, it calls it a match case because they introduce some pattern match later, but that's mm -hmm. not part of this topic today. So as you can see, if you have a variable you need to check, mm -hmm. and it's always set variable you check, you can just say match this variable. Mm -hmm. And then you can just basically say case is like 
it equals fried rice. Sometimes, so that then is that's something. That's something. That, 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 those are just strings, right? Those are something we made up. That something it's gonna return. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter if we write anything here. So if this variable is equals fried rice, mm -hmm. this whole piece will return sometimes. Mm -hmm. If 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 uh, this variable equals video games, we will return uh, mm. right? oh, Okay, I get it. So it's the same result as this piece of code. Yeah, so but this these looks, two codes are connected. They're not connected. Oh. They're the same logic, mm -hmm. uh, but written in a different way. Oh, okay. So this way it looks like better the because it doesn't, it, yeah, it doesn't repeat the same variable again and again. This way it still works. If you don't remember the other way, if you write this way, that's fine. It mm -hmm. still works. Um, any questions? Uh, not really. So this is just another way to write it first. If you okay. just need to check one variable and there are a lot of uh, different equations you want to check. Mm -hmm. So you can use this match case. Okay. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. That's all for today. So thanks for watching and bye. Yeah, remember to subscribe, like, like and subscribe. smash the like button. <laughs> uh, just to say, well, I'm really hoping that we get 2k viewers because if you guys get 2k viewers, we're gonna make our first Roblox video. <laughs> Roblox video. That's what I'm planning. Okay.